Hey y'all and welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos. First up, I have to excuse my voice, how I sound. I have a bit of a cold, but this palette is launching probably in like the next day or maybe it might even be launching today. I hope I am able to get this up on Saturday, but this palette is launching very soon and I wanna go ahead and get a video up because I'm super excited about this palette. As you guys I'm sure have seen everywhere, Nomad Cosmetics is launching a new palette. They are going to Fuji, what is it called? Fuji 5 Lakes so beautiful i love this I, this kind of take on fall because we're heading into fall it's still so hot here it's hard for me to think about fall colors but it is approaching the fall and um so i really was excited to see what they would do for fall colors here is what the palette looks like i cannot convey how beautiful this palette is to you adequately over the camera because there's just i don't know how to describe it it's beautiful like it's very textured i wish i had a way to show you but like there's so much texture here the the words are not not only, not only are the words raised, but the different scenery around it, the leaves, uh, parts of the sky are standing out. It is so beautiful. I'm sure the brand themselves has done a good job to show you, but suffice to say, it's still prettier in person. Like I saw it and I was like, oh, this looks pretty. And I opened it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is pretty. So anyway, packaging, 10 out of 10. Once again, I feel like I say this every time, but yet they always continue to surprise me. And I'm like, oh, now that's my favorite. Cause this, I look at this, I'm like, oh, I think this is my favorite one they've ever done. Cause they always do a great job with the packaging but it's very very pretty and then when you open it here is our take on fall which I think is a very fun take because it still has those fall vibes but it gives you something a little bit different with the mix of colors I opened it and I was like oh not exactly like what you think immediately with fall colors of like burnt oranges and greens but there's still a very heavy fall vibe with the the tones of red that they chose also with the or uh, the yellows in there but then you also got the blues and the grays i am intrigued i really want to play with this and i think i'm gonna go and pack as much color as I can. I think I'm going to go with this kind of gray blue tone in my outer corner. I'm going to put some red in my inner corner, a little bit of this purple between the two, and we're going to put yellow on the lid. That is what I have figured out uh, or what I have decided. Let's go ahead and dive in. I feel like it's been forever since I have done a tutorial, so I feel super rusty. My hair is a mess. Let me clip it back again. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I have been on. Not only have I been sick, but with um, <clears throat> the summer, I've been trying my best to get things going in our garden, and that's just been taking all my free time. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm zoomed in well, and then let me grab a brush. We're going to start. I already have eyeshadow primer on. Um, if you're new to my channel, my Oh, I just knocked my coffee. That could have been bad. Um, if you're new to my channel, I tend to do unedited type of videos. So we're just going to, um, yeah, uh, focus on the fly and just talk through it. And that way I don't have to edit out as much stuff. But I've already put eyeshadow primer. I don't really like how thin this one is, but that's okay. It'll probably be fine. It's a little bit thinner than I feel like I tend to do. Oh, I got something right there. But it's probably fine. Uh, we're going to dive right into Mount Hoyle. Hoyle? There's a little asterisk or like a little line through uh, the O. So I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. But uh, this darkest, deepest color we're going to jump right into and put on the outer edge. I tapped it off a little bit. Ooh, it's like kind of a greenish blue. It's not super strong in the blue. It's got a, it's got a good, strong blue-green feel to it, which I like. I think that'll be fun. But uh, let's pack it on back here. I'm tapping it off really gently before I go in just to help cut down on any mess. If you're new to Nomad, their formula, they have a pretty intense, typically have a pretty intense formula when it comes to their mats so it doesn't take a whole lot. And if you like dig in too much or too hard, you can make a mess with the fallout. But tapping it off, I think I see one or two specks on that side. And so far, not on this side. So if you're just careful and, you know, don't be too aggressive like me. I feel like I'm always digging in too hard. But uh, you can also not make a mess. But I'm someone who also tends to do my um, my eye makeup first and then my face. Except for when I film like this. So that would probably really help. I'm going to go for a really detailed type. Oh, let me grab it. A blending brush like this. This is the Sydney Grace... It doesn't have a name on it or a number on it, but it's this tiny little one. And we're going to go into Burning Bush. I just want to see this red in the inner half because I feel like that's going to be so pretty with the yellow on the lid. I'm going to go matte yellow on the lid. It'll kind of be like an, an explosion out, like from around that yellow. Okay, we're getting more hot pink there as I blend it in. But let's see if we can 
stamp it on and get more of that autumny red that I had in mind. There we go, and I'm going to keep this pretty, pretty tight to this inside portion, not going too far past here, I think. And I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. And I'm really just focusing on having fun. I feel like it's been a long while since I've been able to just have fun and do something crazy with my eye makeup. I feel like it's been forever, like I said, since I've sat down to do a tutorial or even to film a video. Um, I have a couple videos that I recorded a while ago that I just not have not had time to film. As I said, I really wanted to get our garden going so that we could have a fall garden in it and then a winter garden in it. And I just had to spend the last, I've been spending the last couple weeks out there, especially during nap time to get a lot of the like heavy, uh, what do you call it? heavy labor intensive stuff done. Like, um, you know, wheelbarrows of mulch and soil and whatnot to take to the different rows just because it's hard, harder to do with kids because they can't really help too much with, uh, with shoveling. Um, though they had, they did help some for sure. They were, they were eager helpers, but I tried to do the bulk of the work of that heavy lifting work during nap time. And that's just been sucking up every ounce of my free time that I've had. And then now we're in August, school's starting back up. So I'm now, uh, taking the last couple weeks. I've been prepping for school as well. We're doing back into doing school with the kids just started this past week. So it's just been a lot happening that I feel like I have not had time at all for YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush and go over the top of that because I don't want it too crazy red. I wanna keep it pretty light. There you go, just a peek of red. We'll see how we like that. I'm so sorry for being so sniffly. Probably just with how busy I've been and then the kids starting back to school this week, I got sick. So yay, just the thing I needed, but anyway. I'm going to go and use that same brush that I used for the red. I'm going to go into this shade right here that I'm not going to try to pronounce because I don't want to butcher it. It's like a purple red or a um, burgundy, I guess you would say. We're going to put that right in here. And I'm just going to use this to kind of marry the two between the blue and the red is my thought in, um, <clears throat> in using this. So we're just going to go like this. Dab it in right in there. There we go. But anyway, I got the garden pretty, pretty well established. I got, I think we have a total of six rows to work with this fall, which is all I'm going to add for now. I got to finish um, making sure I got irrigation and be able to water things adequately. And then maybe in the spring, we'll add a couple more, but we got six rows to work with this year. I'm super happy about that. And I already got some things planted, trying to get some fall crops started inside. And oh, it's just always, always something to do. All right. We're gonna go like that. If you want to stay up to date, I do have an Instagram page where I will put like fun reels and pictures for what I'm doing on it, around the house and in the garden and stuff like that. It's um, the Makeup Homesteader if you want to check it out. All right, we're gonna go into this shade right here. And we're going to tap this on the outside. This is gonna be our connecting piece to what we have going on in the crease. Ooh, it's, a little, it's very pigmented. I feel like I just went over, totally went over that first shade I put there. Okay. I'll have to put a little bit of that back just to get the definition back. I didn't mean to go that light out there. But that should mean that we can get a nice transition and blend between these two colors with it being nicely pigmented. I like a good pigmented mid-tone shade. It just makes blending shades together and blending out darker shades so effortless. There, I think that's pretty. No idea what I'm going. Probably not the best, best uh, way to go for the color story. But I mean, I tried to put something in there with the purple <laughs> to mat to go between the red and the blue. But there was just so many fun colors. I tried to think of how I could use them all in one look, because that's me. <laughs> and it's been a long time since I've gotten to play with makeup, so I was like, let's just throw as much color as we can on our eyes while we have the time to play. All right, this, this this shade is blending so nicely. I cannot get over how beautiful, because gray can sometimes, it's not a, a true gray, but it's like a blue gray. And gray can sometimes be a little bit, I don't know, patchy or like it disappears. Doesn't want to blend nicely, but this is blending really well. All right, we're going to go back into that purpley tone. 
And then we're going to, I hope my voice is not too annoying with how uh, congested I am. I am so sorry. All right, I'm going to take that shade that I used to blend out the first inner red and just go over these shades. Never underestimate what a clean blending brush can do for a look because that just helps it tie it all together. We're going to go back into that first shade and just put it back in. I guess it's not too bad. It kind of married it and then kept going, so it's honestly not that, uh, not that much, didn't disappear that much. That's the words, <laughs> that's the words I'm trying to say here. It's not that bad, but we'll put a little bit back over it just because. All right, so this is what we're going to do for the crease. And then now I'm going to go on to the lid. And like I said, I want to use both those yellows, the, the matte yellows. I want to use these two on the lid just because they're so pretty. I like a matte look. And yeah, I want to do it. I'm going to use this shade. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I really have to cough, but I'm trying not to cough because that's just going to be annoying to hear. Um, let's see. Take this flat brush here. And let's place it, oh, this is like a really flat brush. This is like a, a not a flat brush, but like a, oh, what is it? Like a sharp angled brush. I don't need that. I need more of a flat brush, but it has a rounded, rounded tip. Come on, Katie. Oh, there we are. This is what I was looking for. All right, so my eye look so far is looking a lot more patriotic than I meant it to. But we'll see if the yellow on the lid can help make it more fall that you think of, like the word that you think of first is fall and not patriotic. Okay, because yeah, looking at it, it's just the red and the blue, I'm like, oh, okay, didn't mean for that to happen, but hopefully the yellow will help ground it, and maybe I should have done more purple. I don't know, I just wanted that pop of really bright red in the inner half to make it fun and interesting. All right. I think that'll do. I'm sorry for the lag time here because uh, it usually takes me a minute to get these uh, cut creases. Usually why I don't do them on camera. Oh my goodness, the cat hair. If you guys have cats, what do you do to help with the cat hair? Because they drive me crazy. Now granted, we meant to get short hair cats, but got them from the, uh, um, what do you call, our local shelter, and they were said to be short hair cats. I didn't know any better because we hadn't had a cat in like years. I think the only time we ever had cats growing up was because they kind of just fell into our lap. I think the last cat that we had when I left was a kitten and um, it was like found in um, wherever my brother was doing like his school. He was going to school for HVAC or whatever and they found a cat and it ended up coming home with my parents and they took care of it so I remember that cat but anyway it'd been so long when we adopted them I was like man they got a lot of hair but I was like hey babies you know a lot of times baby animals when they're babies they have their baby hair and then they um you know once they get their adult hair it gets shorter and that's their true hair so I was like oh oh well they're super fuzzy but it says short hair so we brought them home and they are in fact long hair so I just feel like I'm always always finding hair everywhere and I mean their cats can't really keep them off of anything because they can jump and climb and you know they know not to do certain things like get up on our counters or tables when we're awake but like there's no keeping them off when we're asleep because I know they're up there I've caught them before but I also find the evidence of their hair everywhere anyway it drives me crazy sometimes I've kind of come to terms and just lived with it but at the same time I would like to not have to like wipe off our tables 50 million times a day in order to get the hair off. Uh, I know brushing them might help, so maybe I just need to get onto that and brush them more frequently, but uh, even when we were brushing them often, it's still just hair everywhere. Anyway, okay. I don't know why I got off on that tangent. Didn't mean to get off on that, but uh, I think I just see all the little bits of hair floating on my brushes. That's what it made me think of or that's why I thought of that okay we're gonna go with this brush it might not be the best brush hmm we'll go with go with this one for the inner half just because I have to be pretty darn precise I'm gonna go with this lighter one on the inner half and then we'll bleed to the, the darker one on the last half I'm sorry if I blinded you with that mirror um, the printing in here is so pretty I love this type of yellow it's 
like a really fun kind of grungy yellow. I like this type of yellow. Definitely fallish vibes, like a mustard yellow, is that the word? Very nice. We're gonna pack it on here. It's got almost a little bit of like green, like a lime, not gr lime green, but like a grungy green in there too. I don't know, it's a very pretty mix. That's what we'll do for that side. I went a little heavy handed on the right, so let's hope it doesn't look too different in color to have more, um, more, what do you call, more product on this side to make the color a little bit deeper. All right. I think that's good. We're going to go a little bit higher with this just to make sure we keep that cut for the cut crease. Make sure it's nice and bright. And we'll do it on this side because I didn't go that high. I like a good matte cut crease. Like, it's just nothing crazy. You know, it's not like sparkly and eye catching like a shimmer would be or something, but it, there's just something so like clean and different about it that I really like. Okay, now we're going to go into Burnish Beach. I can pronounce that. And then tap that on this part right here. And we're going to go over a little bit because then we're also going to go back over with the blue just to blend everything together. All right, here is what we're looking like. And I don't think I'm going to, should we put liner on? I don't think so. You know what? I was thinking we could top this with the shimmer afterwards just to get the effect of both. Because I'm not going to do a like a final look on here. Um, just because I don't want to have to like cut it and then do liner and lashes and then come back in on the video. I just don't have that time today. I got a couple other things I need to do before the kids wake up. So I only have time to put it on my face. But uh yeah, maybe we'll do that after I'm done with this and like how it looks. I can tap over the shimmer just to get both effects in one video. That could be fun since I'm not using any shimmers. I don't know if that's disappointing not to see any of the shimmers in use because their shimmers are definitely pretty, but I do enjoy an all matte look. All right, blend that nicely. Looks pretty good. I gotta go back over. These two colors are a little bit of a, a hard sell. Is that the right word? Or just a little bit of a don't want to mesh. Where did my brush go? Okay, oh, there it is. Mm, I could lose it no matter where I set it down. I just forget. Um, I think the yellow and blue are a little bit not wanting to mix together, but I think we can get it nice enough mixed to to um, to go, you know, to look nice together. What are words? I'm so sorry if I'm making zero sense today. All right. I'm going to go back over and just take a little bit. And since I'm not doing a liner, I'm going to bring the blue. In fact, I'm going to bring the blue up a little bit like that. And I can take this really flat brush that I didn't like before. And I can use that to stamp on some of that blue right in here. Yeah, I like that. I don't want to go all the way but just against the lash line and over a little bit, kind of like center of my eye, I guess you'd say. Okay, I think this is the completed look. I didn't do the under eyes, let me go ahead and do that. Oh, here I am saying we're done and no we're not. All right, I'm gonna take blue with that Mount, Ho Mount Hoyle, Hoyle, Hui. I'm so sorry, that first dark shade. We're gonna put that over here and then I'm gonna use a little bit of that that I used on the outer edge. Um, oh my gosh, cannot pronounce it. But that same steel gray blue shade to connect it all around. And then let's do purple on the inner half. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying really hard not to cough hard until I'm done and I uh, am fighting it. Okay, the mom, Mama G, the one I put in the middle here. Ooh, that's fun. It's almost the same as that red um, that I have on the the um, inner half of the crease, but it's a little deeper. I was hoping it'd be a little bit more different. I guess because I added blue here, that's why it looks so purpley. So I guess in theory, I could add a little bit more of this blue on top and get it to show up a little bit more purpley, right? Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Did it work? Is it looking more purpley? And I think for my um, 
for my water line, I would probably use, this needs to be sharpened like crazy. Let's just do a black. I just need something to go in here. Uh, I should use blue, like a dark blue. Let me see if I have it. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm not finding it, so maybe I should just move on. All right, I don't have a dark blue. Oh, wait, it, it, ah, ah, is this a blue? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. This is a dark blue, almost black, but it is a blue. This is exactly what I was thinking of because it'll just go along with the look a little bit better. And I just like to put something in my waterline because it kind of, especially when you do deep looks like this, I feel like it takes away when you can see the lightness of your waterline through the, the colors. Might as well put a bit, bit up here. And now, this is the completed look. All right, here we go. What do you guys think? As I take a sip and try not to cough. <clears throat> All right. I think it's a fun look. Definitely a fun, colorful fall look. Should we tap over, um, should I tap over this gold color? So pretty, I don't want to ruin it. But hey, I'm, I'm finishing the video up, so let me go ahead and get a still, I guess you could say. I'm not going to take a picture or anything, but here is what it looks like. So you guys can see it nice and not me moving around and blinking and stuff like that. I think it turned out nice. It's a cool... Cool, co cool color combination. I like it. So now we're gonna go, I'm gonna clean this brush and then we're gonna just tap it over just to see. It's gonna be very subtle because I don't really, I don't think I can go super, ooh, super intense with it. It feels, or it's coming onto the brush like a super shocky formula. It's like very soft. Let's see. Yeah, this might not even um, go on top of the, the mat very well, but let's see if we can. Yeah, I was thinking to tap it on, but it's not really wanting to tap on because it's that kind of formula where it wants to just be uh, pressed and glided. Is that a word? Glided? Glid on? Glided on. Wants to glide on your eyes. So definitely not a shade I would say would top a matte, but all by itself, this would be very pretty. If you just had like a tacky base for this shadow to stick to, like a glitter primer, and then tap this over, very pretty. But on top, I mean, it's fine, not saying it looks bad or it's picking up the color or ruining my look. It's just not as smooth and I'm kind of having to force it, if that makes sense. But uh, I'll, I'll do another still so you guys can see because I definitely don't think it ruined the look. It's just, I don't know. I feel like would shine better if it was all by itself, especially with a tacky base to make this shimmer shine. Shimmer shine. Okay. Blend that edge out. Definitely pretty, and it honestly didn't cover too much of the, uh, there we go, the look I did because um, you can still see, I feel like, the yellow coming through, the different shades of yellow. It's got a very, very gentle type of um, shift, uh, shimmer to it, which I really like, those kind of gentle, shimmery, very pretty, very fine textured type of shine to it. I think that's very pretty. So this is now the completed look. <clears throat> oh my gosh. This is the end of the video. I'm so sorry. I sound so terrible. But like I said, I really did want to play with this on camera. I can't get over how beautiful it is. This is going to have to be a display piece back there whenever I'm done with it because it's gorgeous. But I really did want to go ahead and get this video out to you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like, let me get some to clean off my hands. I got, um, what do you call uh, concealer? Can I talk concealer on it? Uh, let me know what you guys think. What do you think of this new uh, palette? Are you planning to get it? Do you like the um, like the style for the fall colors? Are you into these colors? I know they're not for everyone, but I think it's a very fun mix and it definitely gives you something different, which I feel like is so hard to do in this day and age for makeup brands and makeup palettes to give you those, you know, classic summer, fall, winter type of color stories, but give it with a twist. And I feel like they did a, a fun little twist on this. So I really enjoyed it. I think it's very pretty and I, I definitely... I'm sure I'm a little bit biased just because I like the cover. You guys know me. When I like the packaging to something, I'm just like, you know, more than likely gonna like the inside as long as I can work with it. And I feel like this is so pretty. 
and definitely workable and gives you those interesting color stories and color looks that I enjoy. You guys know I like the interesting color combinations and I feel like I can get a lot of interesting color combinations with this palette. So with that said, <clears throat> sorry, my battery's dying. I'm feeling worse. I need to stop talking. I'm going to wrap that up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is nice to be back when I can. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Nomad Fiji, uh, Fuji Five Lakes palettes. So with that said, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.